A Halloween love story. Today we're going to be talking about the story for Seducer and Temptress. Hey, welcome. I'm Layla Fox. Today we're talking about Seducer and Temptress. They are two undead champions in Raid Shadow Legends who have a shared lore story that happens to fit in with Halloween and it happens to be a love story. Now, before we get in and talk about it, let's check the undead lore faction as a whole. Undead hordes, awakened by the call of the corruption, these ghouls and creatures of the night inhabit the forgotten tombs and dark places of the world and serve as minions to the Dark One. While most are the desecrated carcasses of fallen Talarians, others have lurked in the darkness for centuries, awaiting their time. Today I'm going to share the lore story for these two undead, and also four people are going to win 540 raid gems, so make sure you stick around, watch the video, watch the whole thing to find out details on how to end now let's get into the Halloween love story for Seducer and Temptress. Where Lumea brings us the purity of love, Siroth places his bets on the pure carnal desire. He tempts with excess and indulgence, pulling more and more willing servants into his net whenever he can. Such was the fate of a young noble of Karak. Vain and greedy, he wished for nothing more than to better his position and power and lot in life. By the magic of Siroth's necromancers, and by his own dark deeds, he was granted a vampire's kiss, turning into one of the undead beasts himself. But his pact with the shadow stood firm, for the noble was allowed to retain his humanly looks that he'd so adored, for a time at least. One can only imagine this wicked seducer shock and surprise when he was faced with another servant of Siroth, known as the Temptress. A child of a vampire and a mortal woman, she was as vain and self-assured as he was himself. And throughout all his attempts to gain the upper hand, the seducer only succeeded in catching himself in his own trap. For even the darkest heart can sometimes be illuminated by Lumea's light and he found himself hopelessly in love and at the whims of the woman he sought to outdo. Still, it may not be such a horrible fate in the end, for despite their mutual viciousness and less than savory practices, the two of them do go together as well as a werewolf and a full moon. That connection is hard to deny, and it overcomes even the deeply ingrained selfishness that both of them were so known for. Well, that was the story for Seducer and Temptress, and I have to say, I feel like it fits Seducer pretty well. When we look at him in the game, he he doesn't have a shirt, and I know what a lot of people joke around about is that he seems very vain, very conceited, and they really kind of fit that into his lore story, where they pretty much said how he wanted to better his position and better himself in life, but part of the pact that he made when he wanted to become a vampire is he wanted to keep his humanly good looks. He still wanted to be as of how he was. And interestingly enough, who does he find? He finds the Temptress. She is the daughter of a human and a vampire, and she apparently is just as conceited and vain as he is. And the two of them, even though it seems like they would clash, they do end up bonding in some ways. And we do find that in the game with how their abilities are as well. When we look at the seducer in game, we see that his selfless partner does an ally protect and a block damage, but this is only available when Temptress is on the team with him. So this is a bonded ability that the two of them share in the game. And looking at Temptress, she also has an ability that's only available when Seducer's on the team, and that's a Vicious Partner, which is an increased attack and increased crit rate buff on her and also gives an extra turn when Seducer's on the same team. So we find again that these two, they pair well, their story matches well together, and they do have abilities that are synergistic in the game as well. This kind of story I think is fun for the Halloween season because again, we have a bit of a Halloween love story. We have this, this humans, we have these vampires, and we have how they end up 
trying to fight each other, but they end up still falling in love and then bonding in the game and having joined abilities. So leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Did you like the story for Seducer and Temptress? Do you think it's, it's kind of funny how they added in Seducer's vanity, which kind of does fit in to his character model in the game? I would love to know what you guys think. All right, so talking about the 540 gems giveaway, four people are going to win 540 gems and this is how you can enter. Make sure you like today's video, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below. This giveaway is going to end on Saturday, October 16th. Oh, and make sure you add in the secret word and the secret word for this giveaway is going to be darkness. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out some more videos up here in the playlist on the top right.